Hey guys, Kitty Cat here. Um, and today I'm just gonna be showing you how I make my thumbnails. So this was supposed to be a live video and live talking, but um, my mic I didn't turn it on. So oops. Um, so I'm just gonna narrate over this, and I do edit with Photoshop CS6. Um, and I'll just be explaining my cast thumbnails, um, or just, like, thumbnails with sims in them, because, um, speed build videos are much easier, uh, their thumbnails are much easier. So I, um, choose a gallery image that I like with Sims 4 Trey Importer that I'm gonna go into soon, and that's the gallery image, while the next image I pull up is just the single sim image. Um, so now I'm gonna go into Sims 4 Tray Importer, which is what people use to clear out their CC and stuff. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it. And it just has everything right there for you. And so I'm gonna click on him eventually. Um, maybe. <laughs> and basically, here it shows everything, like it shows the CC that's in the house, um, all the packs you need and stuff like that. So that's the gallery image I chose, um, and then that one that's not there is just the gallery image of the separate person. So like if you have a household of multiple people, that the one with all of them is the one I choose. Um, so then I go into files, and it has the two different household images, which are the big ones that you choose. Um, one is bigger, and I always choose that, and then the individual. And um, when I how to do this, you right click and um, convert to image and I always save it on my desktop and for this video for this thumbnail I did save both of them just to kind of do it um, you know just to kind of have both for options and that's what I've been doing quite a bit unless it's like a big family and then um, for backgrounds I just go on Google I'll type in like cool background or like winter background simple background da 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 and um, then I go into tools and I'll enter a screenshot here. Um, I'll go into tools and then it, I'll go under size and it will say um, larger than this, blah, blah, blah. Or you can type in exactly what you want and I type in 1280 by 720 because that's the size that I make my thumbnails. Um, so there's that. And then I have all these logos that are in game. And I'll try to link this website, um, but someone basically extracted all the like little clip art that we have in game um for like every pack we have as well so you can just those are up for download somewhere i'll try to find the link like i said and um i just copy copy it and then paste it on my um my desktop because i don't really uh i have a shit memory and um so if i just drag it out i'll forget to drag it back in and then i'll be like oh no where's the heart you know um, so that's just what I'm doing now, just copying and pasting. And then I think soon I'm about to open my Photoshop. Um, Photoshop CS6 is what I use for my, for my thumbnails. And I also, um, have a Huion H420, Huion H420 tablet that I use, why is it? That was weird. I don't know why that opened up. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> but I use a Huion H, uh, H420 tablet. Um, so yeah. And then here, I will go under File, New, and then I will make sure the size is right. 1280 by 720 pixels. And then I change the pixels per inch to 300 pixels per inch. And um, you guys will see me do that. And I also have it saved as a preset. Um, for thumbnails so that everything will be the same when I open it I can just click on that and won't have to change anything um, so it'll be a lot easier than that and I should be doing that soon um, and my Huion tablet I'll insert a picture um, it's honestly really great it's it was pretty cheap I think it was like 40 bucks maybe um, but yeah so there's that and then you I go down to place in the file menu um, and I choose, like, whatever background I'm gonna use, um, and it brings up this screen, obviously, and I choose the background first, and I size it how I want it, you know, 
Um, and to keep it the same scale, you hit shift while you're dragging. Um, so it doesn't go all wonky on you. And then um, I do the same thing when I place the character. Character, I call him the sim. Um, and you have to place everything individually, which is kind of a pain in the ass. But, you know, it's whatever. And here I always add a drop shadow to pretty much everything. Just because I think it makes it stand out from the background um, a lot more. And I just really like the look of it. Um, it looks, I don't know, classy, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Um, and now I'm just going to place some of the some of the icons. And obviously this isn't the final thumbnail for the video that I posted. Because um, I posted this video on Monday, uh, Sunday. The Create a Sim and the actual speed edit. But here I was just playing around with it. Um, and sizing those up and down. And then I will add the drop shadow to both of the things and how you do that you can copy it if you hold alt um, while you're dragging like while you click that and drag like I just did there um, so that that way you get the same exact effect on every layer you know and then here I'm just gonna add some text I believe I always use a really simple kind of modern looking text just because it's a lot easier oh and um, I usually tend to spice up my sims a little bit, like I'll brighten their eye colors, which is what I'm doing here with him. Um, just doing it pretty quickly. And I always add a layer so I'm not drawing directly on them, so I can change the opacity of that by itself. Instead of like messing up the whole picture, if you guys know what I mean. Um, I think if you guys like know digital art, you guys will know what I mean. Um, but yeah, so I always do that. Um, and yeah, this looks a little crazy right now, but I do um, make it so you can see the pupils of his eyes and then I lighten um, the opacity so it looks better. So it doesn't look crazy. Um, and with my females, I do this a lot as well. And then, oh, the phone's ringing. And what was I saying before we got rudely interrupted? Um, with my female sims, I tend to do a lot more. I tend to add like highlight and contour to them. Um, and for the purposes of this video, I didn't with him, just to make things easier, I guess. Um, so yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about here, but you know. And, um, I think I'm getting very close to the end of this. Um, I'm just adding some very simple text. I use Niagara Solid, um, a lot of the time just because it's very simple and I really like the look of it. So, yeah, um... And I always, I usually always do it in white just because it stands out and then I'll add a drop shadow or a stroke on the back of it. Um, so yeah, guys, that is the end of how I make my thumbnails. So um, if you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to become a paw print because I post new videos all the damn time and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and if you guys want to become a pop print, be sure to hit that subscribe button.